School seniors might yet be able to walk across the stage and receive their diplomas in front of their families. The state has released new guidelines for graduation ceremonies. And WBZ's Nick Emmons has the details tonight from Framingham. Framingham High's prom was supposed to be tonight. It's one of many experiences that seniors missed out on this year. But now there's new hope they may have a real graduation ceremony. Prom night at Framingham High looks a lot different this year. We're making the best of it right now. The dance was canceled because of coronavirus, but seniors Megan Sidmore and Aiden Fernando still wanted their prom pictures. I was really looking forward to being able to spend one last night with my friends. Prom is just one of the many experiences they missed out on as seniors, and graduation was another one many feared would never happen. I've been realistic and like knowing that a lot of things might not happen, but I've been hopeful that some things might happen. Today, hope arrived in the form of updated guidelines, allowing for outdoor graduation ceremonies in July. Well, the prospect of possibly having an in-person graduation that's traditional is um, something that I'm looking forward to, and I really hope it can happen. According to the new state guidelines, after July 18th, ceremonies would need to be outdoors with proper social distancing, masks would need to be worn, and attendance would be limited. Class president Jake Benoit is optimistic he'll be walking with his classmates this summer. If there's a way to make it happen, people want it to happen. It may not be the ceremony seniors envisioned at the start of the school year, but they want it to happen more than ever after missing out on so much already. In every stage of life, there's always that very defined ending that you always look forward to. We want to have the opportunity to celebrate with our classmates and with our teachers. Like, I think it would be amazing for us all to be able to celebrate. I think we've all worked so hard to get here, and it would be incredible to have a ceremony to commemorate that. And it is important to note that in order for any of these ceremonies to take place, public health data needs to support the continued opening of the state. In Framingham, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News.